So if you do take a 60 frame per second clip and put it into a 24 frame per second timeline without slowing it down, it's gonna start cutting frames out in order to match it to that 24 frames per second and play it out in real time. However, your motion's gonna start to look more jittery because of the higher shutter speed you had to use at that higher frame rate, which may not be a big deal depending on what you're filming, and I actually prefer the way it looks for high-speed action shots or dancing where there's a lot of movement, and those movements look a lot more crisp, and you have the option of slowing it down. However, in shots where there's not as much going on, that jittery look can actually make it feel pretty unnatural.